Hello, everyone. My name is Hassan, and as uh, Tim said, my, I'm presenting minimal positional substrate cover, a haplotype threading alternative to the Lean Stevens model. So we'll start with some biological background, then we'll talk about algorithm background for the problem, then the results of the paper, and finally conclude. So haplotype threading is the representation of a query haplotype as a mosaic of copies of segments of haplotypes from a panel. So in this example, we have a query haplotype Z and a panel X. And in the first two sites, we represent Z as copied from X3, the next four from X2, and et cetera. So haplotype threading is used primarily in phasing and imputation tools. And it's used in many phasing and imputation tools, such as Eagle, Beagle, Shape It, Impute, and more. So currently, the state of the art haplotype threading model is the Lee and Stevens model. It was introduced in 2003. And they provided a linear time solution, linear to the size of the panel. And the Lee and Stevens model works uh, using a hidden Markov model, where Mismatches are represented using emission probabilities, and recombinations are represented using transition probabilities. So since the Lean Stephens model was introduced, uh, the size of the pe uh, haplotype panels we have has become much larger. And so the Lean Stephens model has been made more efficient using the positional burrows wheeler transform, which outputs all matches in a panel in time linear to the size of the panel. And so it's usually sped up by using the PBRT, PBRT to select a small segment of the panel that is related to the query haplotype and then running Lean Steffens on this smaller subsegment. And another way of speeding up the Lean Steffens model more recently is done by Gern Lunter. And he showed uh, haplotype threading using the Lean Steffens model sublinear to the size of the panel. And Rosen and Patton also do sublinear to the size of the panel with a lazy algorithm. So the positional burrows wheeler transform stores m haplotypes of length n, a haplotype panel. And the way it does it is it stores the re reverse prefixes of length k for all k. And for every k, they also store the longest match ending at that site. This is stored in the divergence array, and then the U and V arrays store the locations in the next sorting where each haplotype goes. So Richard Durbin also defined a set maximal match, which is a match that is not encompassed by any larger match. So here we have a set maximal match from Z to set X. Here's another set maximal match. This is not a set maximal match, and these are all set maximal matches. So some uh, algorithms were shown in the PBRT that are linear in the number of sites and independent of the number of haplotypes. So these are virtual insertion and set maximum match query. Virtual insertion would give you all the positions in the sortings that a query haplotype will achieve, and it gives you the divergence values as well. And set maximum match query will output all set maximum matches from your query haplotype to the panel. Now, recent work. Uh, our recent work was published in Wabai 2022, where we defined the minimal positional substrate cover problem, uh, where the minimal positional substrate cover problem is a haplotype threading with the minimum number of segments. And we also solved the leftmost and rightmost minimal positional substrate cover problems, a set max match only minimal positional substrate cover problem, and the H minimal positional substrate cover problem. So. The H minimal position substrate cover problem is a MPSC where every segment is contained in H strings in the panel. And also important is MPSCs are solution paths in the Lean Sevens model when emission probability is zero. So a uh, positional substring is a match where the substring's location is stored within it. And a positional substring cover is a set of positional substrings that cover a query haplotype. So here we have a uh, minimal positional assumption cover. A minimal positional assumption cover is just a smallest possible positional assumption cover. And here is a minimal positional assumption cover of Z by this set X. So we showed leftmost, rightmost, and set maximum match only MPSCs and HMPSCs. So leftmost, rightmost, and set maximum match only MPSCs were solved in time linear to the number of sites and independent of the number of haplotypes. And the HMPSC was solved in H times the size of the cover plus the number of sites. 
So in this work, we talk about the, we represent the solution space of all possible minimum position substance covers. We present a length and maximum minimum position substance cover, and we improve upon the HMPSE algorithm. So in order to uh, identify the solution space of all possible minimum position sub substance covers, we're going to use the leftmost and rightmost MPSEs to bound the solution space. So the first uh, bound we have is the obvious one where a leftmost MPSC is the most to the left and the rightmost MPSC is most to the right. So in this case, we have a leftmost MPSC and a rightmost MPSC. The leftmost is in blue, rightmost is in red. And we'll restrict the case to the i positional substring. And so we have that no positional substring starts before the leftmost or ends after the rightmost. And so the ith positional substring must be contained in this region, somewhere in this region. Now, some less obvious bounds are minimums. So the ith positional substring must contain the first site before the i plus oneth in the leftmost and the first site after the i minus oneth in the rightmost. So here we have the same leftmost and rightmost MPSCs and we'll restrict to the same substring. And we have that the ith substring must contain the site b directly before the i minus, the i plus oneth in the leftmost and directly after the i minus oneth in the rightmost. So we have a region that this region is shared between all ith positional substrings and MPSCs. And so this region we show is exactly the region that is shared between all positional substrings and we call them the required regions. And here we have the required regions for I equals zero, one, two, and three. So now using the required regions and three more properties, we will represent the solution space fully. And these properties are first, every match between a query haplotype and the panel is contained in a set maximal match. Next, for any two set maximal matches, if they share a starting position, then if for any two uh, set maximal matches, if they start at the same location, then they also end at the same location and vice versa. And so what these two properties show is that if you consider only the positions of set maximal matches, then you, uh, every match is contained in one of these positions. Now lastly, we have if a match contains a full required region, it doesn't contain sites from any other required region. And now using these three properties, we're going to construct a graph. And the graph, the nodes of the graph are going to be set maximum match positions. And there's going to be an edge between two set maximum match positions. If the first one contains the ith required region, the next one contains i plus one required region, and the positions are overlapping or adjacent. Also, we'll call the node that contains the first index zero, uh, the source, and the node that contains the last index the sink. So here we show the full process of building the graph. First, you get leftmost and rightmost MPCs. From these, you can get required regions. And now you obtain all set maximum matches. And then from set maximum match positions, you build the MPSC graph. So this graph is useful because every path in the graph corresponds to a set maximum, uh, an MPSC of only set maximum matches. And every MPSC of only set max matches corresponds to a path in graph. Also, there's a mapping from MPSCs to uh, any path in the graph. And lastly, using this graph will show that you can enumerate all possible MPSCs efficiently. Now, we also talk about the length of maximum MPSC problem, which is uh, uh, the length of an MPSC is the sum of the length of all of its positional substrings. And the following property will show us that we can use the MPSC graph. And the property is that every substring in a uh, length maximum MPSC is a set maximum match. So if we just consider the length of a path in the graph as the length of the corresponding MPSCs, then we can find uh, the longest path in the graph using uh, just the longest path in the MPSC graph is the length maximum MPSC. And so we can find uh, the length maximum MPSC in n squared time immediately. And here we have the longest path in the graph highlighted in red. But we can do better than n squared. And the way we can do better than n squared is this property. And if we call ri the set of nodes that contain the ith required region, and rij the node that with the jth smallest starting position in ri, 
then the set of nodes rij has an edge to is a subset of the nodes rij plus one has an edge to. And so using this property, we can find all the longest paths from ri using the longest paths from ri plus one in linear time. So for, for the first node, we just manually check all the uh, pa longest paths. Now for every node after, we don't recompute the maximum for any of the previous nodes nodes. So here, the maximum for the new node is 16 and the previous is also 16, so the maximum is 16. Here the maximum for the new nodes are 18 and then old node is 16, so the new maximum is 18. Now the time complexity of the longest path algorithm with this property is linear in the number of nodes and the number of nodes is less than n. So overall you can get a length maximum of PSC in time linear to the number of sites and independent on the number of haplotypes. Uh, and it's important to note that using this property, you can also build the MPSC graph in the same time by not con explicitly constructing every edge. We also show an improved HMPSC algorithm. Uh, and the old algorithm went from right to left, uh, repeatedly adding the longest match, ending at some site with H matches. The new algorithm goes from left to right, repeatedly adding the longest match, starting at some position with H matches. And the new algorithm is linear in the number of sites and independent in the number of haplotypes. <clears throat> so now we'll talk about some results on the, these MPSCs. And the data set we use is the UK Biobank Chromosome 21, has 10,000 sites and 1 million haplotypes. And so here we have the haplotype threading size for, so a number of segments required to co cover a haplotype for, by self-reported ethnic background for British, Indian, Irish, and Caribbean. Here we have the haplotype threading size for random subsets of the UK Biobank, British only panel. And for the rest of the results, we will consider the, a P-smooth panel as well. And P-smoother is a recent method that smooths out uh, rare mutations and errors in a panel. So here we have the all number of possible set maximum match MPSCs for per haplotype in the UK Biobank panel in ascending order. And here we have the length of maximum MPSC length. So over here we have the median was 20% of the genome was overlapped in the MPSC. And here we have the runtime for the length of maximum MPSC. So as you can see, linear in the number of sites and independent of the number of haplotypes in the panel. And lastly, we perform an imputation benchmark. And the way we perform this imputation benchmark is we select 1,000 haplotypes, remove 90% of their sites, and then we impute the missing sites using this naive imputation method, which is build an, uh, get an MPSC using some MPSC algorithm. Now for any a missing site in the haplotype, get all the adjacent position substrings, count the alleles, and if the vote is unanimous, impute the voted for value. So in this example, we have an MPSC of Z by X. And now if there's a missing site in this location, we only consider positional substrings that are adjacent to it. Now we consider all haplotypes that contain these positional substrings. We count their alleles at the missing site, and in, if they agree, then we impute that site. So here we have the results for this imputation performance. We compare it to Beagle 5.4. Beagle achieves 98% and imputes every site. We have length maximum MPSC, set maximum MPSC, solution space, and then HMPSC for varying H. And we show that in some cases, our solution beats Beagle's accuracy, and uh, P-Smoother does inc increase the performance. So we've, show, we've increased the abilities of the MPSC formulation, and we've demonstrated the power through an imputation benchmark. So we think that it could, MPSC could be an alternative to the Lee and Stevens model. So I'd like to thank the NIH and for funding and the UK Biobank for data access.